I started having to wear diapers around the age of 18, which is very young age to have to start to wear diapers. Most of the time you assume you're gonna have to start to wear diapers when you're like 90 or something. But I had to start wearing it when I was 18. And the reason I started having to wear diapers is because I have a medical condition called interstitial cystitis. My interstitial cystitis at the time was not diagnosed yet. I had been struggling with IC since I was about five years old and I had finally gotten diagnosed when I'm 20. I'm now 21 now, so that tells you about 15 years worth of my life that I didn't know what was wrong with my bladder. The reason I started having to wear diapers at 18 is because I actually started having incontinence. My incontinence started around 10th grade and the way I dealt with it then was just bring a bunch of clothes to school and change a bunch of times. But then as I got older, I realized that that was a very practical thing to do. Um, I wasn't wearing underwear at the time, so I was literally just changing my pants because having wet underwear on top of clothes, it just didn't work. It gave me a lot of sensory issues, so I stopped wearing underwear and just would wear my yoga pants. And I've always wore black yoga pants and, sorry, my light was being weird, but I've always wore black yoga pants to try to, um, make sure people didn't know I was having to change all the time. So, um... I would just bring wear black yoga pants all the time and would change them and it worked for me no one knew i was changing and for that part of my high school life it worked but then i got to the point where i started working and i can't keep changing my work clothes because i didn't have that many clothes i started to have to go into the round of adult diapers i don't remember what brand i used to wear but i wore some very uncomfortable kind that I just weren't very pretty it was a literal diaper, so I had to figure out how to diaper myself. Um, the way I figured out how to do that the most cleanest way was to lean up against the wall and put the back of the diaper on me and then put the front on and then try to like wrap the sides around me without touching anything, but you know, I'm touching the wall. And if you've ever been into a bathroom, I'm sure you've probably seen crap smeared all over the wall before and it was just not clean and sanitary and I didn't want to do it. But um, basically, I started researching and I found out that they had adult pull-ups. So um, I think the ones I wore were purple for a while and they just weren't very comfortable. Um, I noticed a sound to them a little bit because my clothes were very thin. I have um, a lot of sensory issues from my autism. If you want to know about that, you can click up here. But I just couldn't wear them. They weren't comfortable. Someone gave me the suggestion of wearing pads in underwear but again I don't like underwear they're not very comfortable either and I have to ha I have to be comfortable in my clothes or I get kind of angry and so um, I got the idea to wear pull-ups from good nights like the kids brand so I actually wear child's good nights they just look like this and I'm so thankful that I can still fit into them. I wear the largest size. I know not everybody can wear these, but that's what I wear now. And the reason I wear those now is because they're most uh, they're most comfortable. And I do find them honestly a little bit cuter than the adult diapers. I know eventually I'm gonna have to wear adult diapers and that's okay. I'm gonna have to dive into that and find some diapers that are comfortable when that time comes in my life. But for now, I can get by with wearing just, you know, child's pull-ups and they fit me they don't um feel weird on my butt that's my biggest area that i have sensory issues with underwear and so sometimes i'll put on a pair and it'll be fucking with my sensory issues so i'll just take that off and wear it a different day and sometimes a different day and it'll feel fine that's my sensory issues for you <laughs> but um yeah i'm very thankful that i finally found something that would work for me and that i'm comfortable with sensory wise now, the reason I wanted to make this video is because I know that there are a lot of other people my age and even younger and older, you know, that have to wear diapers at a un, I guess, normal age. A lot of them probably feel old and gross and just disgusting and alone. You know, when I first having, when I first started having to wear diapers, I felt gross and disgusting and like I was a six year old I might as well just check into a nursing home like my life's over no one's gonna want to date me I'm ugly I'm nasty that my body's making me pee on myself all these awful thoughts that affect your self-esteem and just it's not self-love and I got to the point where I'm like no bitch I'm sexy in these 
I'm cute. I'm I'm young still. It doesn't matter if I have a bladder disease that's gonna make me accidentally pee on myself. It's not my fault. It's not my fault that my body does gross things. My body shits, but that doesn't make me gross. You know, shitting's gross, but that doesn't make you a gross person. My body accidentally pees on itself. That doesn't make me a gross person. If you have incontinence, that doesn't make you a gross person. You are still a beautiful person that deserves anything. I didn't think I was going to cry. I want to make this video so people out there know if they're going through this, if they're having to make the decision to wear a diaper, that they are not gross. That they are just as beautiful and sexy and awesome of a person as they were before they had to do that. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this. Remember that you are not gross. Your body might do gross things, but that does not make you gross. So I just want to say thank you so much for being alive and choosing to stay alive. Don't forget that I love you and have an amazing night.